Hi, I'm Mike Schnecker, Business Development Manager at Rodin Schwartz. And today I want to show you the new RT-06 oscilloscope uh, from Rodin Schwartz. We launched this product uh, back in uh, July of this year, and uh, the instrument provides a lot of capabilities both for baseband digital signals, but also for RF signals. Uh, in this demo, I want to show some measurements that we can do on RF. Specifically, we're going to be looking at an ultra-wideband signal. Um, these ultra-wideband signals are pretty common for uh, proximity sensors and for keyless entry. So what I'm showing is uh, a signal applied to two channels. So I've taken an ultra-wideband signal and I've essentially split it into two signals simulating two antennas. And I've got them going into two channels of the scope. And we're going to do some analysis um, on that ultra-wideband signal with the oscilloscope. Now there's two layers of analysis we can do with the standard built-in features, which we're showing here. We could actually do a, uh, a number of RF measurements, including uh, the relative phase between the two channels. And the relative phase is important for ultra-wideband because we can actually measure angle of arrival using that, uh, that technique. So this uh, upper left display is the time domain waveform of the RF signals into the two channels. They're overlaid on top of each other. And so you can see a number of the different bursts uh, lined up here. We're using our digital trigger feature to trigger on the beginning of the burst. So you can see where the trigger is very stable on the first pulse in the burst and, and repetitively staying um, staying locked on screen. That's because of our digital triggering. Below here we have a zoom window of one of the pulses, so we're looking at the carrier signal um, and we're looking at the relative phase between the carriers on the two channels. And you can see they're not lined up because the two path links are different. And we're measuring um, about a 48 degree uh, difference in, um, in phase between the two channels. And that's proportional to the angle of arrival. Um, on the bottom right, we're doing an RF measurement. We're actually measuring the spectrum of the two channels, channel one and three, the two RF sig signals. And we've got a spectrum display here. We're showing the, the bandwidth, which in this case is about 500 megahertz. And we're also showing the amplitude difference. You can see the two spectrums are overlaid. You can actually see the difference in amplitude between the two. Um, the top right corner, just another view of the bottom left, is really just a XY plot to show the phase relationship. So this can be done in real time on multiple channels, and this allows us to do angle of arrival for UWB. We can also do standard UWB measurements like time of flight and pulse parameters using the VSE software, which is built into the oscilloscope as well. I'm going to switch over to the display to the VSE so you can see uh, one of the measurement windows here, and we're showing uh, a series of measured pulses, um, the pulse template measurement for one of the uh, baseband pulses for the uh, UWB signal, along with a number of parametric measurements along uh, per the standards. So we can do standard base measurements uh, using UWB software, um, as well as real-time uh, spectral and time domain measurements for relative phase. For more information on this application and the R uh, RTO6 oscilloscope, you can visit us at www.rota-schwartz.com.